So as you can see, there's quite a bit of oil in there. And you wanna just fry the crap out of these onions, so don't be afraid of the fat. And this will take quite a while, because you wanna get every piece of onion in there fully caramelized, because that'll translate to so much flavor later. Um, and you just wanna do these bigger pieces of onion first before you add your other aromatics that were cut in smaller pieces, or minced up rather, so that those don't burn while all this cooks. Okay, so I started these on medium high, a little closer to high, um, to get them wilted down a little and start the browning process, but now I've turned it down to medium low, a little closer to low, so that they brown slowly and thoroughly, because you really want to just fry these through. All right, now that it's about 90% of the way there, the majority of it's browned through a couple of white strands left, but that'll get fried up soon. Um, I just want to add those other aromatics from earlier, so it's ginger, garlic, and just some jalapeno that I had for spice. And the pan is dry. There's not much fat left in it, so I'm just gonna put a liberal amount of oil so that we can actually fry all those goodies. All right, again, you wanna make sure there's some fat in the pan that it's not dry. You actually see that there's um, a layer of oil, and then you can put all your spices and it's just really up to you what you'd like. I like um, predominantly cumin, so I got a lot of cumin seeds in there. A little bit of curry powder up there, and this is um, chili powder mixed with garam masala, which is from a different project. And you just wanna fry the spices gently on pretty low um, until you can really smell it then you know they're nice and toasted um, and I don't mean by putting your face really close to it I mean like it'll waft everywhere and then you'll know it's nice and hydrated and you're ready for the lentils and I just want to show you one of these pieces of onion we started with um, just like whole slices of onion and this is how small they got about the size of that first section of my index finger that's how much you want to fry it and if you taste one they're almost crispy and you just want to make sure the lentils are all coated and the spices that you put in there and the fat and then we'll start adding liquid. So we started with only half a cup of lentils and three cups of water about and it's already soaked up um, most of the liquid so and it's only been 10 to 15 minutes and they're about 75% of the way done already um, so they don't take that long to cook. Um, just make sure once it gets to this point that you stir it pretty often so it doesn't weld to the bottom of the pot. All right, so this is done. Um, I like it pretty thick where the lentils have cooked all the way. They're really soft, um, kind of held their shape, but still a little mushy, which I like. Um, but you could stop it before if you want a little more texture. 